Let's take a look at angles. So question number one, it's a bit of a strange question this one. Give the term for these descriptions of angles. Well, I would never describe angles as wide and flat to be honest anyway. Uh, but if it was wide and flat, then I think what they're getting at is an angle that looks a bit like this. So therefore an obtuse angle, one which is greater than 90 degrees. Narrow and sharp would be one like this, uh, where it's less than 90 degrees, where it's an acute. And square, that puzzled me for a while, but I realized that when you draw in a right angle, you often uh, do this little square to show that it's a right angle. Um, so it's a right angle, which is 90 degrees. Which angle is bigger, A or B? Well, it's fairly obvious that B is bigger. B is obtuse, whereas A is acute, meaning it's less than 90, and this one is greater than 90, so B must therefore be bigger than A. A is 90 degrees. B is an acute angle, so it's less than 90 degrees, so A is bigger. How many angles are there in each of these shapes? Well, in shape A, we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, B, we don't have any angles, and C, we have one, two, three. So four, zero, and three. And then on to the final question, number, question number five. A uh, square or a rectangle, it looks like a square to me, that has four right angles. B has, well, it doesn't have any angles, so it certainly doesn't have any right angles. C, I think we're assuming that this is a right angle triangle, so in which case it has one right angle in the corner there.